So I filled up their other cage and kind of brought it in here as well to give them some more playing to do while they're while they're out and around. And then I also gave them a new dig box. I am trying out Care Fresh Fighting. I know there's kind of been a mixed bag about that, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Uh, I also bought just like a, one of those paper party, tissue paper party things that I thought might be fun for them. Um, so we had a bit of a rough weekend. Um, I'd mentioned that Fizbin had been like nipping at my socks. Um, then he started kind of nipping at my hands. And on Sunday, he actually uh, bit me. You can't really, he bit me on Sunday, so you can't see super well, but he drew blood in a couple places here and here. Um, and he didn't really want to let go. So he was all puffed up, you thief. Um, give me that. Um, and I don't know, it seemed totally unprovoked. I mean, like, as you can see, he's got mo many opportunities to hide. If he doesn't want to interact with me, he could even go back in his cage. And I wasn't handling him. I wasn't messing with him at all. I was just kind of doing my thing, sitting in here, probably hanging out with Triple. And all of a sudden he just kind of came at me and puffed up and started biting. I don't know if he started, if he puffed up until after, um, after I started trying to kind of get away from the biting. And it was like, he bit me two, a couple small bites and then it got harder and harder. So I'm a little worried that it is like a sign of hormonal aggression, but I've also, I mean, I'm, um, heavily involved in dog training world and to us there's no such thing as a bite out of nowhere so I've been talking to the dog trainer I work with to try and figure out what might have caused it and what we were thinking is that in my attempt to kind of get them more comfortable with me since they were so timid I was pretty much just feeding them almost non-stop whenever they were out of the cage and so we were wondering if it wasn't a demand thing that he came up to me expecting to be fed because normally he just what are you doing um he just wanders off and then comes around to get fed um i'm a little nervous around him right now just because it did it did hurt it wasn't a serious bite you know i drew blood but it wasn't deep or anything but it hurt so um but so what i'm trying to do with him right now to try and kind of that tickles kind of address it um is hi is to um no is to no longer give out freebies and to stick with hi um a real structure that i usually do with a dog um who is getting really demanding and that um you don't just get food for free anymore you have to work for it so basically, I'm keeping it super simple because they don't really know any tricks right now. But I have um, I have this little wooden shoe that I've been using, and I've been using it to teach them a touch. So touch, and then I give them food. So that's right now. It's super simple, but that's the only way they're getting food for me is by touching the wood thing. And I initially was going to do a hand target, but because Fizbin was biting my hands, I kind of wanted a little distance. Touch. Um, a little distance between uh, him and what and my hand when I was presenting something that didn't have food on it. Because when I give him food, he's perfectly polite. So he that, that seems to be helping. He hasn't bitten me since. And if he kind of comes at it too roughly, like he might um, be coming like, towards more towards my hand then I will pull it away but um it seems to be helping and if I notice him starting to get puffed up I kind of tend just tend to assume it's frustration and then I if I can I just kind of have been getting up and leaving the play area so for now it's been working I've been doing it with fifth, triple two even though he's kind of just a sweet boy who's not caused any trouble yet but um I'm hoping that this might kind of solve it I'd like to believe that it was more um, frustration based because I really can't afford to neuter him. And I would rather they not have to live separately. I mean, I set this cage up thinking I might have to have him live in it um, separate from Tribble because I do think that he 
may have drawn blood on Tribble, but um, I'm kind of hoping it won't be necessary because I really would rather not have them both living alone. I need to shift the bed, you gotta. Um, it's honestly super cute that he's hiding in my pouch, but, um, but yeah, so that's kind of what I'm doing. He goes off and explores, and if he comes up to me, he has to work a little bit to get his food. And so I'm hoping that will kind of address some of the concerns I'm having with him in terms of me, at least. I don't know how, how he and Triple will do. Um, maybe they'll so, so resolve their issues with time. I'm not sure. But for now, that's where I'm at with that. Um, I'm hoping it'll help because I, uh, shockingly enough, really didn't enjoy getting bit. And I mean, you could... I don't like want to show it again, but on my hand, you can see that um, each bite had two, two marks. So he had his teeth like splayed out, which was much more, um, I don't know. So I haven't separated them yet. I'm still kind of holding out hope that I won't have to, because I don't really want Trouble to have to live alone, but I also don't want to get a third male because I really wanted females, not males. And these guys, you know, just kind of fell into my lap, but I don't want to get more like young males because like, like baby males, because I don't really want, hi. I don't really want to be keeping males always. I'd rather eventually switch to females when these guys pass. So sorry, Tribble's climbing on me and I'm trying to, um, not let him get too close to the edge because I don't want him to escape. And Fizzman's on my lap too, so I'm kind of trying to keep my hands out of biting range just because I don't know what else to do. Oh my god, you guys are causing so much trouble. Hi. Okay, I need to stop recording because I have trouble on my shoulder and Fizzman is over here and I would like to do some more touch with him, but I can't with the situation that I've got going on here, so... But it seems like we're making progress. Um, hopefully we will continue to do so. What are you doing? It seems like they push each other a lot. But they seem to be getting along today better than they have been the past few days. The other thing is the incident um, that involved the biting. I had actually been gone overnight to a concert. So they were, um, they didn't get to come out and play that night because I left early in the morning and didn't come back till like the next afternoon. So I don't know, maybe it was just like a combination of being like pent up from not getting any time out of the cage the day before. I'm not super sure. I'm trying to be optimistic that he's not just got hormonal aggression and that there's kind of going to be a resolution to this that doesn't involve either me having to give him up or me having to go bankrupt trying to neuter him so that he can live in peace with uh, his brother. So fingers crossed, I guess, is really all I can say for now. Uh, hopefully we'll get lucky. If not, we'll have to figure it out. But for today, things seem to be working all right. And I guess that's all we can hope for, huh, boys? <laughs>